this daily dose of Daryl has nothing to do with books I've written or artwork I've produced or food that I've created. Some of you may have noticed I have not made much comment on this subject, but I am now. I get it. You hated him four years ago and you still hate him now. Heck, I can't even stand the guy. I've seen a lot of hate thrown his way, but this guy is a consistent winner and an overachiever. Call it jealousy, call it envy. Some people just can't handle how successful he is and how much money he has. Could even be jealous that he's got a hot foreign model as his wife. That's what the people who support him love about him. Yes, there have been some scandals. Yes, there have been some lies. And maybe a few times he's twisted the truth to make himself look better. He's out there every day proving those haters wrong time after time. You may not have wanted him in this role, but he's there now and there's nothing you or I can do about it. I know it's possibly going to get worse over the next several days, but like him or not, Tom Brady is turning things around in Tampa. Ha 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 Okay, gotcha. That's one of those gotcha things, but the reason I'm doing it today is some of you had all kinds of emotions, positive, negative, you had made up your mind about what the topic was about, you figured it all out ahead of time, and you started passing judgment, pro or con, about me and from my opinions and things like that. You got all stirred up in it. That's a microcosm of what's happening in the world today. We hear things without understanding, we believe things without knowing, and so we get all worked up. The reason I'm doing this today is simply on this daily dose of Daryl is to encourage all of us to settle down, figure out what's really being said, check it out, get to know who's talking, and spend time getting to know each other, and stop passing judgments on everybody and may the people of this world start coming back together. That's about it for today. That's the Daily Dose. No title or anything, really, I guess. Just think about it. God bless you. This is Daily Dose of Daryl. Think about it. Well, don't jump to conclusions, but take the time to stay calm and try to understand more and give it some thought. Count to 10, take deep breaths, give God a chance to be God in your life. I'm Darrell R. Peebles, an ordained minister trained in art and trained in the fire service. You can call me at that number, send an email to that email, or go to that website, and there's more information. <laughs> send letters to the post office box there in Graham. But be sure to subscribe to this channel, share it with many others, and if you click like, more people will be exposed to it. Return each day. But now, have a great day. Make it a great day. It's the only one you have. And remember, chill. Think about it. Turn it over to God. And now, God will bless you. Settle down for His blessings.